Welcome back to another video. Today I want to do a care guide for the Chinese evergreen houseplant. I've been growing this plant for just under a year now and when I first got given this it looked very different. It had just three leaves left and it was looking pretty sad. Like many plants I get given it had been probably overwatered and under cared for but not to worry. I've given it some TLC, a new pot and some thyme and this is how it looks now. I must admit, I was quite indifferent about this plant when I received it. I thought it was quite boring looking to be honest, but now it's had a chance to really show what it can do. I've definitely changed my mind. The variegation on its leaves are beautiful. The shape and the curl of the leaves really make them look quite majestic. And maybe in another year when it really starts to get big, I think this will be quite a special plant. What I really love about this plant is how easy it is to look after. It's been no trouble at all. After the initial month of sulking and generally not looking very happy, it started to grow some new leaves. And since then it hasn't stopped. Even through the colder and low light period of this winter, it's still put on an extra three leaves. So here is my care guide for the Chinese evergreen. Watering. Pretty simple. Just keep it moist. Don't let it totally dry out. So maybe when the top inch of the compost is starting to dry out, then you can water it again. It doesn't want to be soggy all the time, but it doesn't want to be bone dry either. Somewhere in the middle, and it'll be quite happy. Light requirements. This one will tolerate quite a wide spectrum, to be honest with you. It's quite happy in the lower indirect range of the sunlight, but will tolerate all the way up to a bright room. As long as it's not getting direct sun on its leaves, because that will scorch it like most foliage plants. But other than that, it will pretty much be happy wherever you put it. Temperature range, average room temperatures is fine. Pet friendly, not really. If consumed, this is going to be a toxic plant, so you need to keep it out of the way of any animals that are going to try and eat it. Humidity levels, this is a tropical house plant, so it will prefer and be happier with a elevated humidity level, but in my experience, where I've been keeping this, there hasn't been massive amounts of humidity and it seems quite happy. If you start to get sort of brown tips on the leaves, then it's probably showing you it could do with a slightly more humid environment. So a humidity tray or regular misting might help with this, but I don't think you'll have a problem. Soil type, again, not a problem. An average houseplant mix will be fine. It likes to have relatively free draining soil, so an extra bit of perlite would be good, but whatever you've got will be fine. So there we have it, the Chinese evergreen. Easy to grow, beginner friendly if you're looking for something to fill up a spot in your room that doesn't get the most sunlight this will be an ideal plant feed it once or twice in the growing season with some general purpose liquid fertilizer that's all it's going to need keep it regularly watered and it'll be happy and content for years i think i'm going to keep this one in its current pot for another year depending on how it grows this year if it gets nice and big i may give it a bigger pot next year be sure to subscribe for more updates on this one, plus regular houseplant videos coming every week. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again soon.